<laughs> Happy Tuesday, everybody. I hope that you are all staying dry. We've had lots of rain this week. Yes. Um, the garden, however, is growing. I'm Patty. I'm Carrie. And we are Studio R12 Stencils, and we are here to talk to you about DIY. And we have a really neat lesson for you today. We're going to do something super basic, but when I was doing the preliminary for it, I realized how many pro tips there are in it. There's there's going to be one that's going to catch, I bet, 80% of the people mm -hmm. not realize it's a trick that you can do. So I think you're going to appreciate the simplicity and then the pro tips that are in it. Yeah. So Agreed. Yeah. It's so exciting. Agreed. Okay, so where to start? Let's start with our YouTube channel. Um, we have been chatting with you guys about YouTube for the past few weeks. Um, we are very, very, very close, very like close. less than 25 away um, subscribers from hitting a big subscriber goal. And yep. when we hit that, ha, you guys are going to want to know this. We are going to share our colors, our conversions, our values, all of the things for all of our paint colors. We've got it done. It's been waiting and the brands. Mm -hmm. And the brands. <laughs> yeah, and all of the things. We're gonna share the whole thing. We're coming out, man. Yes, and we are I'm not kidding. I probably get asked more about that than any yeah. other thing when it comes to stenciling. So we have this ready to go. We just need to get a few more subscribers. Yeah, and 25. Then we'll, and then we'll, we'll be there. Yeah, and then we'll do a live. We'll mm -hmm. talk about the thing. Um, it'll be ready for downloading, that kind of thing. So, yep. yeah, watch for that. It's coming soon. Very so. soon. Um, speaking of YouTube, our release from Saturday was how to prep a pine surface for painting your tall porch sign. And so Patty gave you all the tips on it. It's a really quick video, it's 10 minutes. It's jam packed of info. And then tomorrow we're releasing part two of this series. And that is painting this welcome with the jack-o'-lanterns and the glowing eyes. That's the lesson. It is. Well, and the wet sanding as well. Yeah, you know, there's there's yeah. A quite a, there's, there's quite a, a bit to, to this, it. But, um, it's, but it's not hard a lot. It's it easy is, a lot. Yeah. And, and we even easiered it for you. Yeah, we um, easiered it for you. We do. We pushed the easy button for you on this one. I shared on our Facebook page the kit. So a lot of times when we do projects, we make a kit for you because for us, this was putting together 10 stencils to make this project. So when we made the kit, we originally made it with 10 stencils because we wanted to give you the option to have all of the pumpkin faces, all of the jack-o'-lantern faces. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. And that gives you individual Options. stencils yeah. to use on project after project after project. But then we also decided to make a kit with the welcome as one and then the faces and the pumpkins as one. So you would get four stencils, which is also cool because then you can still use that welcome on a lot of things. Yeah. Um, so we do have two of those kits and they're not on sale because we priced them so well. Yeah, um, well, well, well <laughs> We priced. won't be putting them on sale. <laughs> yeah, and then honestly, um, I want to just say, when I made this, so when you watch how to do this, um, that is, a lot of times I'm designing just like real time. So what I like about that for a YouTube video is that teaches you why I'm making the decision that I'm making, how I made the decision, how I dry fit things together, how I use different stencils to you know gather it all together. So there's a lot of learning that goes on in that. And so, but then um, what we realized about, I think a month ago, was that when we bring all of these stencils together that it doesn't make sense for the consumer because you'd have to buy like 20 stencils in some cases. Yeah. So now we've started doing the video and then we've started bringing it together as like one or two stencils to make mm -hmm. the project easy to do. Yeah. So I think I think so I think that's a neat there's a lesson and then there's um, easy purchasing. Yeah. And so then it's it's kind of for all levels. Mm -hmm. So if you want the, yeah. If you want to do it as Patty did it, you have that option. If you yeah. are a beginner and it intimidates you to put 10 stencils on your surface, we get that too. And that's why we made the Yeah, and we were talking one. about um, four foot tall um, porch signs. Um, I'm a six foot tall porch sign girl. Mm -hmm. I just love the six foot porch signs. 
we were talking about, you know, um, different social and economic events that are going on in the world today. And if you fast forward into 2024, I'm sure there will be other um, things that are going on in the world then. But we were talking about how maybe some of us are staying closer to home. Um, we were talking about like, you know, every time you turn on the news, blah, 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 you know, that kind of thing. And last night we got together and had a social event. So we got together with our friends and um, and our coworkers, and we painted tall porch signs. And I painted a four foot tall porch sign, and I think that's hysterical because I'm like the six foot tall porch sign girl. And um, so I did a Christmas one because I thought this would look so cool next to my Christmas tree, and it just gives the message of the season. And I'll hold it up so that you can see it. And then on the other side, and Carrie got a big kick out of this and we laughed very hard. Um, on the other side, I have dogs. And so on the other side, now I will hide the Christmas um, project on uh, my front porch so that people stop knocking on my door when they come to visit and then the dogs stop barking because stuff does get real when that happens. <laughs> and so we were laughing that that was on the other side. And then um, when you need to tuck this away, it fits in your coat closet, your winter clothes closet, it fits under a bed, in the garage, wherever. These are so cool because if you painted one porch sign for every season because they're reversible, um, that's one board. If you did that, it's only about six inches thick by that length. It's a really small size that you can then have on your porch and do the thing. So um, I love these. I yeah. too. Yes, and I did um, I did six foot on mine, and I am very boring. I stained <laughs> I stained both sides of mine, and I did white on one side and cream on the other side. Um, but my husband loved them, so yeah. So Carrie has a new house, and this says Rollinsons, and this is not her name, but um, this was the one that she did, but she did it in different colors and stuff like that. But this was interesting. We had a couple of our people that joined us. And I think the message that I'm giving here is like, get together with your friends. If you have to stay closer to home, get your cousins over, get your family over, get your kids over, paint. Like it's a super fun thing. And we're gonna talk about like sharing stencils. If you can get together on that, I think it's a really neat thing to keep the cost down. Share your stencils. And the project that we're gonna do today is going to especially be something that you could share with your friends. Yeah, agreed. <clears throat> um, I think that is all of the announcements we have. I'm gonna show you one of our giveaways today. We're gonna do one on Facebook and one on YouTube. And we're going to give away Studio R12 aprons in the teal. Ta-da! Ta so um, make sure you're liking, commenting, asking questions, mm -hmm. sharing all the things, and we will, um, We'll be announcing those here after a bit. All right, you guys ready? We are bringing back last week's project. It was the one that I painted the um, silverware on and then I used a couple of stencils together to do um, to, to create a tray insert. These inserts look like this. And um, they are also reversible. I am hardcore into reversible, reusable um, don't give me 25 things to store. Give me one thing that I can store skinny things. Um, and so that is our surface. And then I wanna just kind of pop this out of here and share what we're gonna do this week. So this is called our Anyway Tray, and this is on sale still? Yes, okay. big sale. It's a big, we wanted to do an intro price, so I think this is super important. We know when you see how we're gonna be using this, so uh, we're kind of giving you a little sneak peek about how much we're going to be talking about these things because budgets are important, right? So we want to be a part of that for you guys so you can still DIY and craft. Um, but we know we're going to be using these, so we want everybody to be able to have this part. This is the part that the inserts sit in and then what's neat about them, are you ready? You can reverse them and you can pop them in that tray and now you have a Christmas Santa treat tray that doesn't have to stay out all year long. It can be on the back side of your everyday. Um, you can use these as placemats. You can use them as, you can use them as solo. You don't even have to put them in a tray, but the tray is super cool. And I keep a tray on my coffee table. This, my project on this one is um, kitchen. 
but I keep one on my coffee table and I put my coaster set there and I have like a candle there and I might have my glasses. And then when my grandkids come over, that tray just gets picked up and it gets put over like on the island or something like that. So it's a nice thing to have to gather those things that you're gonna have around, but it, it's neat to be able to express yourself. So what we're gonna do today, okay, now I hope you guys are ready to learn a lot. If you're a beginner, um, you're gonna learn about the basics of stenciling. If you are ad more advanced, I'm going to be sharing some techniques that I've learned over the years and you're going to get some pro tips. So I'm going to pop this over here and I'm going to bring one of these over here. So I'm going to paint that project and what we're going to do is I'm going to show you, so I'm a mother of five, if I have um, five sons, okay, so we talked about that, we showed, shared the pictures of my last son to not be married, um, getting married this summer, and um, if you have five kids and then you have all the grandkids and then you have those guys get married and you do all that stuff, you might want to make a Dear Santa tray for everybody, right? But then you might think, oh, it's too expensive. Well, when these are on sale, this is a 10 buck surface. So you can literally, you know, afford this. And well, I'm, I'm making an assumption, but I, it's more affordable than most things that you can do. You can use that stencil over and over and over again. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how fast it goes. So I'm going to base it, dry it, base it, paint it, and do all the things with it. Um, so I think you're gonna be surprised. And we wanted to kind of make a little contest. Um, let us know how long you think it'll take me to base, solidly base, dry, paint, completely finish. I did three coats of paint on that. So solidly finish this project without the final coat because that's gonna be variant on what you're doing. Um, and I'll get more on that a little bit later. But so put your guess in the thing, and that's one of the things Carrie's gonna do is like comments and stuff like that. Okay. okay. <clears throat> the, um, and before we yeah. start the timer, the I, I pinned the link, I put it on Facebook, and I put it on YouTube. The trays, the, the tray and the um, insert are both marked down 50% today. And then we made a collection of 140 stencils. 140? That will work with this tray. So the tray insert is a 12 by 18. So all of the stencils in that collection have a 12 nice. by 18 size. And <clears throat> instead of just putting that size on sale, we put all of the sizes on sale. Yeah, it but gets there's, confusing otherwise. It, but there are 140 stencils that, at, le at least, those are the ones we grabbed, that yeah. you can use that will fit right on there and you can So, so many away. styles, you can express yourself in so many different ways. Yes, and I'm gonna go over those <clears throat> some while you're painting. Yeah, and then um, what I wanna show you is we have been doing the sheet of Mylar as your palette paper, and it comes this long, approximately, and you can take your scissor, you can cut it in half or in thirds, and make several sheets. You can use it as a straight edge in the last couple weeks lives. Um, if you guys haven't seen those, go back and watch because um, we've really been talking about this. It's a really cool trick. Um, but I take a piece of tape and just tape that down on my palette. And there's the other half and that'll be another day. Soak that in your sink. We have a how to clean your stencils video so you can see how to clean your stencils. And, but this, stays nice and secure and I am loving it. I can't believe I never thought of this before. All right, so we are going to, I'm gonna show you the first really cool pro tip. I'm gonna tip that out of there. And then I'm also going to show you, I think this might be next week or the week after's live. I think it's coming soon. How to pro finish a piece of something you've painted. Like if you have your own tray or you have this tray or you have another piece um, I want to share, Carrie, I want you to rub, you got a good microphone yep, there, so rub right there in the middle. Okay, so did you hear how loud that was? That was um, non-sanded, that was just base coated with a foam brush, um, I you know, not rolled, not whatever, nothing fancy. And then, let's see, I'm on this one right here. On this side, I did what I'm going to teach you, and then we're going to go through how to varnish and do all of that as well. So the difference is like, that's like, you, can't, you can hardly feel it. Yeah. Do, do both right there. Okay. One okay. The Here's one. Here's the, the rough one and the smooth one. 
So one of the pro tips that I can share with you, and that's gonna be in upcoming videos, is if you finish your project really, really well, then if you're not a great painter, then your project will look like you're a better painter than you are, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So I can take your project and your painting level and I can elevate you 20 or 30% just by the finish that you put on top. Um, people tend to, for whatever reason, they tend to see with their hands and when you touch something, it feels so good and luxurious, you're gonna be like, wow, that's beautiful. Yeah. It really makes a big difference. Okay, so we talked about our Mylar. This is now a product mm -hmm. on the website, so you can buy that. Um, they are $2.99 mm -hmm. um, at 7.5 mil Mylar. They're approximately 31 by eight inches. This is scrap Mylar Forest. It is, pal is it the most reusable um, product you can yes. get? Like yep. Because now you can take, I was throwing away my palette paper sheets. They're 21 cents each. We did the math. Um, your paper plate is costing seven cents each. When you get one of these, you can cut it into three and you can reuse it basically forever. Yeah. Um, unless you do something goofy. So like that's amazing. So that is as green as green gets. <laughs> save the tree. Save the tree. Well, save the plastic plant, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and now we want to talk about this. These um, stencils come in, this one is the one I used and this one I'm gonna use again. This comes in three, st no, four styles. Um, and they're all just a little bit different. So you have a bunch to choose from. So this is where you put your little treats and the, the kids can sign their name on this and I'm gonna show you how that works out. But these are the three and then these are in today's sale. They are in today's sale. And so, but that's gonna go away. So if you want one of these um, and then July is traditionally the month that we stop having sales on Christmas things because Christmas sales then will go to retail mm -hmm. until the end of the season so know that this is getting into short time to save big money and um, so i love this little guy with all the, the little presents and the deer and speaking of july do we want to talk about tomorrow with, with the, yes. this as well okay so yeah. we we don't often promote sale things but one of the things that we're doing today is the cookies and the one of the other things like that christmas treats christmas treats we've also <laughs> oh, talked about a lot the christmas countdowns and, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so tomorrow is actually, so it'll be July 20th, 2022. We'll kick off our Christmas in July mm -hmm. sale. And um, I'm just going to plant it in your brain that you're going to want to check it out. Yeah, you're going to want to check it out. And the, those Christmas countdowns, um, Randy Sutherland, um, you're being called out, sir. Um, somebody wants to tag him. So they, <laughs> his son, watch. Liam, um, was, he came up and painted with me and he made a Christmas countdown. So when you paint these with your grandkids, mm -hmm. oh my Lanta, his son went home and slept with his <laughs> countdown. He did. And Randy was like, I cannot believe this kid. And this kid was, he's nine. He yeah. was nine when he told me about this. I, I think that's the right age. But it was like, it's important to them. So the countdowns, these Santa things, all of this kind of stuff, guys, it's grandma, yeah. mother, fodder of doom, <laughs> auntie, best friend, you know, yeah. Carrie's got, mm -hmm. her friends all have these stream of kids coming up and stuff like that. So how cool to be able to paint for them. You know, like you want to get them something, but what do you get for the kid that has everything? Give them a countdown or you give them the Santa treat mm -hmm. tray. Yeah, you know, and then you can share these stencils. Okay, next pro tip. I know that's a lot of yammering. So this is painted on this side. When I flip it over, it is painted on the other side. So we're gonna pretend in this case that I'm gonna take this tray and we're gonna get our countdown started after I give you this tip. Um, pretend like my fork and knife is on this side, okay? And then it's gonna be face down on my surface. Something that happens when you have painted art face down on a surface you spill something, you make a mess, and you make some spatters, and you run your project through it, and that kind of thing. So when you're doing that on this side, it's gonna make a mess on your finished thing. You don't want that. So pro tip and, is- And this happens to all of us. It happens to it me happened, all the time. It happened to Patty yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was like, oh. And the thing was, she was like, guys, don't do this. Yeah, if you're spattering, <laughs> stop, wipe off the spatters. If you're doing this, but this little trick right here is a little towel from the Dollar Tree or Dollar General. 
you put your finished side down, so I've got this size down on your towel. Now your towel absorbs, and if you get a mess, you can flip it over, that kind of thing. So mm -hmm. it just prevents anything that's under here from getting onto here, gives you a warning. This is where something belongs. Very important. Okay, I'm gonna take that away, and I will, I'm gonna go ahead, this has uh, relax on it, so I'm gonna relax. All right. Okay, my starting I'm the going, timer. We're gonna start the timer. I want you guys to guess how long it will take me to do start to finish, um, and then I'm going to be sharing a couple of tricks, but Carrie's gonna do a little bit more of the talking than normal, and I guess we'll start. 12.20. Okay, 12.20. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sand just with a very fine grit. Just want to rough up that surface. If I'm doing it slick, it's smooth. If I'm doing it a little bit, you can hear it. Foam brush, black paint. Don't need to seal because this is a very dense board. And then we're going to foam brush. Pro tip, and then I'm going to be the base coater and the okay. dryer and stuff like that. Stick your board off towards your belly, off your counter or your surface. And then when you flick your paint out this way, it won't make a mess on your surface. So that is a really good pro tip. Keep moving your board. And now I'm done talking for a hot okay. second. So some of the things that I wanted to, to share with you guys today about these trays are a lot of the different ways that you can use them. And with this, we are doing a Christmas one. We've also showed you a kitchen one. But as we were building the collection, we got several ideas as well. Yeah. So you can put it on your dining room table and you can change it out. You can also paint the base of the tray itself and make that your everyday tray with welcome or gather or do a personalized one with a monogram of your family. Oh, the monogram. Great um, gifts. And then you can use the inserts to do the different seasons, the different holidays. So you can put it on your dining room table. You can put it in your entryway and have a place to put your keys, your wallet, all of that stuff. You can we make- We need to make a skinny one. A skin, okay. I will write that. <laughs> we can- um, you, Like an entry table size. Yep. You Perfect. can do a, um, a sassy one for your- um, your powder room so if you have if you have a place that you go to do your makeup you can put all of your makeup supplies on one you can um, one of the ones we talked about was teacher gifts so we have a lot of teacher stencils that will fit on the um, 12 by 18 so maybe make a teacher one and give it to your favorite teacher, your child's teacher as a teacher appreciation or at the beginning of the year. And you can have them put all of their, um, their pencils or all of their goodies on them. So there are so many ways that you can do this. Um, Janice asks, when do you seal before or after? We are sealing after today. When we paint on MDF, we do not often seal before we paint. The wood is um, on the, Thicker MD, on the quarter inch MDF, the wood is, um, it has like a little tiny bit of its own coarseness, but it's super dense. Like, I mean, mega dense. This is a hardboard and it is mega dense. Um, that's why I had to sand is it's so dense that you're gonna end up with um, different problems that almost the paint won't stick. So you just have to give it a little bit of tooth, but you have no need to seal. Um, Alicia asks, and I don't know the answer to this, so I'm going to assume no. Do you have stencils about stenciling? I know we have a couple of stencils about painting. I um, think we have creative stencils, okay. but not maybe not stenciling, but we probably need to yeah. think about having a, you know, like we've got the thing on, show them your cup with the, um, all the little keywords yes, and stuff like that. Yes, it has all of our fun. Um, it's the, it says stipple versus swirl, everything's a brush, hashtag stencil fan, paint your world pretty, sanding is my cardio. So these are all fun things that have come up in our live Q and A's and our live videos. Can you still hear me when she's blow drying? Yeah. Okay. Um, so we will definitely look into um, 
making stencils about stenciling. Do you guys, we wanna hear from you, do you guys have any ideas on um, how to use these trays? We had some I, some people loved the, the skinny tray idea. I love that, I think that's gonna be great. I think so too. Can I go hot and heavy? Yeah, go for it. That one stubborn spot that won't dry. <laughs> um, Deborah asked, where do you get your boards that you did the welcome for the porch? So we just get those at our local hardware store. Right and next door. Right, Luckily, it's right next door. So then when we're carrying all of our, <laughs> they normally um, deliver they them deliver. to us because we order them in bulk. But I've been walking down the street with my six foot sign. So we either get a four foot or a six foot tall. It's 12 inches across, approximately. It's 11 and a half. Yeah. yeah. It's and not then, a true 12. And then it's a one inch thick board. Yeah, and they, they are, um, boy, two years ago when the world did weird things, um, the world does weird things all the time. I'm trying to resolve myself to this, that it's always weird. Um, when the world went wild, um, they, the lumber prices went nuts and for different reasons and I mean really nuts like one of those boards was like $40. Hey, hey, hey I'm, I'm trying, being kind. I know I told her I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna talk. Um, I wanna talk about what I just did really quick. So if you're a beginner and you're new to our channel, um, I want you to know like the significance of what we just did is um, we um, taped down our stencil I completely dried. Now I've got my stencil placed where I want it. It's secured. I paint tape in two places. Dry brush, dry paint, dry paper towel. Pick up just a little bit and offload. Five times, six times. And then one thing that is a pro tip that I learned myself today is don't do a fresh load of paint in a skinny area. These little round circles and these little letters because that's where the bleeding is gonna happen. So start with your swirling in a big area and that will help you. So now I'm going to paint and I'm going to barely, barely be pushing on this. I'm gonna dust it, see how barely, I'll peek for you Rusty if you can get a close up. That's the first coat. It's gonna take three coats. I've already painted it once today. I know how long it took. How long do you think it's gonna take? So. I'm gonna go kind of systematically, start at the top, move to the bottom. Carrie, it's your turn. Yep, so we're gonna talk about peaking. So yesterday when we were doing our porch signs, um, a couple of us had painted quite a bit. A couple of us were newer to painting and One was lot, brand, brand new. Brandly new. Um, a lot of times when you are starting, you Ooh. are nervous to peak. I was that way because I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to line my stencil back up. But peaking while you are stenciling is so, so important. I have a, we have a video that we did on um, fixing mistakes and I will find that and share it with you guys because <coughs> your paint, you have what, maybe three, five minutes? About under five. Under five yeah. minutes that once your paint is wet, once you stencil, peak within three to five minutes because if you make a mistake during that three to five minutes, you will be able to fix it without having to sand down and rebase coat. And so the, the peaking aspect is so, so important because it's going to be able to um, save you a lot of time. Carrie painted um, that um, antler mm -hmm. um, sign yesterday and we didn't have a jar of the- Oh my gosh, the stick the, and restick. The stick and restick. We didn't have a jar down at boardroom where we were painting and because we had a big group of us and because we didn't have that jar she was trying to do it without with the tea towel stripe oh. and she peeked and caught it mm -hmm. and was and I looked over and I'm like wait where's your stripes and she said they they were terrible the stencil kept moving because it's a moving stencil um, but she said I caught it I wiped them off I'm fine so she didn't have to start over. She didn't Correct. have to rethink everything. She could just wipe it off. And then what we ended Peaking up is doing a, a pro it tip. is, and it's it it worked out great. Um, but we did have a really good lesson yesterday with the stick and restick because 
we used to use the, the Show them runner. The jar. It's right um, over on that bottom. Um, mm, here it is. It's in there somewhere yeah, behind. So them. it's just it's just this stick and restick, and we have videos on it as well. We did a whole research project on. I, it was a research project <laughs> on using the sticky stuff, and so we use this now anytime that we have a stencil that is going to walk, or anytime we're going to do gold foil. <laughs> Um, but we put and that, this. That's, that one's available on our website, on which is studior12.com. Mm -hmm. And make sure you guys give us some hearts and some um, likes and all the things wherever you're seeing this because they're all different. Um, I'm going to say right now I'm done with step one. Sorry, I'm just going. I'm not hurrying either. When you're seeing my hand swirling, I think you'll see on my other videos that that is my normal speed. Um, it's just one color, which is helpful. Mm -hmm. um, when you do a bunch of colors, it takes longer. Anyway. Anyway. Con um, continue. Continue. Sorry. But the, the stick and restick really made a big difference. When we put it on the back, if you are going to be using the tea towel stripes, we highly recommend it. You use a dauber, put the stick and restick on your palette paper, use um, one of our dauber foam brushes, um, stick it in a couple times dab it off like we always do and then just put it on the entire back of your stencil i flipped the stencil over put it down and it did not move and i was able to do the tea towel stripes with no problem and it was amazing how fast it went and i want to give you another pro tip okay i'm going to flip when you, this gets wet we flip it over and we just keep using as many sides of this paper towel as we can um, as your brush gets more saturated it's going to get more full of paint so spend a little bit more time over here watch my face as I'm gonna talk to Carrie and paint at the same time. So I'll put my brush down and now I'm looking at you. Look over there and now I can keep going. Mm -hmm. I don't even have to look at this yeah. and I'm painting, okay? So if I can do that, imagine sharing with your grandkids or your kids. Um, so like if it's that easy to stencil, duh, right? It's a no-brainer. And I love stencils. I really I, I do. They make things so much easier. We've said that so many oh times Manta. in the last couple of I can't of imagine weeks. tracing all of this stuff and making it be like a whole project. You know what I mean? Like I would have to trace it and I would have to transfer it and I would have to base it. I'd have to have 18 years of painting experience to have my, you know, my lettering skills. I would have to... All the things I'd have to own every brush on planet Earth, which I think I do. <laughs> um, we need I to believe get that, that is that, a truth. That we need to bring my brushes in here yeah. and be like, mm, "Yeah, you got a lot." We need to do a, a giveaway, a guessing thing on how many brushes. How many are brushes are Patty's uh, brush in collection? Her, yes, yeah. and it's not even a collection. Look how easy this is. I want you guys to let us know if you think that this is the easiest thing. Like share, talk, say. Yes, and we had a, we had someone feedback. ask if we have done this in several colors. We have we have an example on our website of it yep. painted in several colors. And you can definitely do it in several colors. If you're doing the several colors, we recommend using a multi-masker. Yeah. Because the words are so close together, you'll have high and high chances of ghosting yeah and but the ghosting can sometimes like i thought mm -hmm. about going back in and making like the candy canes be um be red and white mm -hmm. um you could so pro tip also i could stop right here and i am actually let me finish this row and i'll show you what that pro tip is because i think it's a i was thinking of it when i painted the other one and i think it's a really good tip okay so this is how dark that is and so these are the big letters, these are the big letters. So I can go there. I could just go in and stipple this row of letters if I wanted to enhance that row. Okay, so I'm gonna get the deer done and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. And now we'll reveal. Notice how bold that is. Mm -hmm. So it just jumps off the piece. So you can choose things that you wanna jump off the piece by just using more pressure, apply a little bit more paint, do four coats on one instead of three coats on the other. Okay, so I'm gonna do this whole row and then I'm gonna do the rest with the other. And you guys, get your guesses in for how long this is gonna take because I'm almost there. Yes, we have a lot of guesses. And what we're going to do with the guesses is I will go back and look at them afterward. Yeah. And I will- um, Announce the winner. And then uh, we will message you guys and let you know who are who our winners are and who gets the really cool um studio wear 12 apron yes 
let us know what are you guys painting for right now um yeah are like, you are what you, season are what you working on christmas yet thing? yeah yeah weddings house we're housewarming gift here yes we are um, definitely in housewarming mode. last night's event was because we had so many people i did not buy a house but um so many of our employees all bought houses within like the last little yeah, bit and so we got four, together and we had four four housewarmings and one wedding <laughs> yeah and that was a super neat thing to do okay i'm done you're done it is 12 35 it minutes? took 15 minutes 15 minutes so what i want to say about that is if you had multiple things that you wanted to paint and i love the black on white and uh, or the white on black because it looks chalky. Mm -hmm. If I wanted to make this more chalky, I would have stopped at layer two to keep it chalky. And then the finishing step, um, if you wanted to varnish this, so because you're gonna use this year after year or your family's gonna use it year after year, um, you can take and um, you can um, varnish it with matte varnish to keep the spills, like it's for food. So you're gonna put cookies here. And what I would do if it were, me being um, super conscious of chemicals and all of those things. So I don't want, I don't want a lot of chemicals in my life. Um, so there's that. I would do this with a matte varnish, okay? And then in the food areas, I would put the Clapham's beeswax down. So in this area that I'm not gonna be writing on, I would make sure to put the Clapham's and then your children or your youth or yourself, I mean, I believe. Um, then you can sign this with chalk and something that is a pro tip that I bet you 90% of our people do not know is matte finish, matte base coating with black or whatever color you want becomes chalk paint. Um, you can write with chalk on any of your matte finishes and you don't have to buy special that's so expensive. I'm going to save you money right here. <laughs> like this is like a big pro tip. We get emails all the time asking about chalk paint and I have done doors in this so I can make a whole bedroom door into a chalkboard. You can take a whole wall. We did um, the wall at boardroom when mm -hmm. we were in the other building. We did an entire wall into a calendar that we chalked all of the things. We we put the calendar grid up and then we sealed over that with matte varnish and then we chalked it every month and erased it. Yeah. So we had a permanent chalkboard on there. Mm -hmm. It is amazing. I, am, I love that. So you can put all your kids' names down here. You can have them all sign it, erase them off, and then next year you can do it again. You know, so you can have this perpetual ongoing... Um, chart. Yep, and um, we have a lot of people painting for Halloween, fall, nice. and Christmas already. It's um, Christmas in July. Robin, I'm on the same page as Robin. Robin says, I want to move on to fall and Christmas, but it's going to be 110 plus here today. I can't get into those projects when it's so hot outside. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have been seeing leaves, so like I'm gardening right now, so the tomatoes are just coming on and doing all the things. I've been seeing the leaves doing the flutter thing, and it's like it's coming. Robin, you will get relief soon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we are done with this week's lesson. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you go save on this anyway tray and these inserts. You're gonna want this. Um, we made it a special deal right now while we, re we redesigned it, we reintroduced it. We know we're gonna be doing a lot. So if you're gonna want it, get it while it's cheap. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I think I think that's it. I think that's it. Thank you guys. See you on Tuesday next week at noon.